All right, how's it going, beautiful people from Facebook? This is Jose Trujillo once again, coming to you from a little Facebook Live here from my from my art studio. Just uh, just got done sketching this little drawing, uh, and I just want to get started on this painting, and hopefully you get to see some of the some of my Genesis quas. <laughs> Some of the stuff that I like to do, okay guys? Uh, I often get asked, how much do you paint? How much do you paint? You know, because it seems like you're always painting. You're painting so much. Uh, whatever I'm doing, I may not be doing enough yet. That's, how, that's, what, that's what I can tell you guys. Uh, I'm not looking just to, to paint many pieces. I'm looking to paint uh, a lot. And if that means painting many pieces, many small pieces or painting a lot on a large piece. Sometimes I'm going to be doing some videos with this, this humongous, I call it humongous <laughs> canvases that I, that I do. Um, they're about five, seven feet, eight feet, some of them are ten feet big. And that takes a lot of my time too, that takes a lot of my effort and that is painting a lot as well, right? <laughs> so Whatever I'm doing, I, I know I'm not doing enough. And how's it going, Sharon? Thank you so much for joining in. <laughs> um, whatever I'm doing, I'm not doing enough. I know I'm not. Uh, when I read that Picasso had done over, if I'm not mistaken, something over 40 pieces, 40,000 pieces, yeah, 40 pieces, yeah, right, right? <laughs> um, I, I realized that, that, um, that I wasn't, uh, that I wasn't ready yet. And not ready as in I have to wait, but ready as in I have to do more to get ready. You know, it's, it's sort of like, a, I see myself as a, as a, as an athlete of, of art. I don't, I don't see myself as a, as a painter or, you know, I see myself as, as sort of, when I, when I read about athletes, the type of training they do, how do they go about it, that's how I see myself. Um, and certainly I think that, that Picasso had that quality and that's one of my, he's one of my favorite artists, not because of the art he created necessarily, but because of the, the way he, he uh, the way he showed up, the way he, he created uh, artwork. He was, he was, uh, he was not just prolific, he was a machine. And that's the kind of um, stuff that I'm always, you know, I'm always amazed with. Like, how do you, how do you do that? You know, how do you do that? How do you, uh, how, how do you go beyond yourself? Because many times we don't want to do things, you know, I, I get it. You know, many times we're like, oh, I'm tired. Oh, I, I don't feel right. Or I... I'm not inspired or, you know, how does a, how does a, uh, a, an athlete, you know, show up? How, how, how does he or she do it? Well, there, there has to be a, a level of, we call it, you know, to, to simplify it, we call it professionalism, right? But there has to be a level of commitment, I think. That's really the key. A level of commitment that goes beyond what you think of yourself, what you, what people think of you, or you may think people think of you, and, and uh, it has to go beyond that, because it has to, it has to really touch um, your, 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 uh, how do we call this, your soul, I guess. It has to really touch your soul. It has to. It has to go beyond your mental ideas, your feelings, your your stresses, you know. And I believe that that's that's how one starts creating artwork to another at another level, you know. the The way that I see it, and what I've read from from the many uh, artists, uh, especially the old artists, some of the new ones too, you know. Some of the new ones, like Chuck Close, one of, one of my favorite sayings he has is, is 
I'm going to do a loose translation because I don't remember the exact quote, but it was something like, like, amateurs wait for inspiration, the rest of us just show up to work. And that resonated with me. When I, when I heard him talk about, you know, when I heard him say that, it, 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 it resonated. It resonated a lot because um, for the most, for most of my life as an artist, I've always been in search of some sort of inspiration. What's going to inspire me? What's going to allow me to, to, uh, to, to show up, right? Almost looking for an excuse to show up. Almost looking for an excuse to, to you know, if, it, it's almost like saying, well, if they pay me well, I'll go work, you know? Uh, and most people that do anything uh, significant in their field you know it doesn't work that way. You know you show up first. And then as a result, you get, you get rewarded. And it doesn't, it doesn't work any different with artwork. With artwork, it's the same thing. With artwork, it's exactly the same thing. You first have to commit, and then stuff starts happening for you, whatever that is, whatever it is that you are committed to, right? I certainly don't tell anyone, because everybody works differently, I don't tell everyone, you know, you have to, you have to paint a lot, you have to paint a lot. Uh, I, I think you have to practice, but you don't have to do many paintings, that's, that, not every artist does that, you know, this is just the way that I found for me, but uh, you have to do something a lot. I don't know what that is, whether you promote yourself, whether you practice the same painting over and over, whether you work on only a handful of pieces that are extremely, uh, 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 I don't know, hyper-realistic or, you know, there's, there's so many artists who do that, that they create these very hyper-realistic works and, and they don't have, they don't go like me, they don't go, I'm going to paint, you know, I don't know. Uh, five, six, ten pieces like this or whatever in one day. They, 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 they're not thinking like that. They're thinking I'm going to focus on this painting um, for the next month, you know, and that's all they do. They just work on that. So it's, it, there's many different ways of doing. What you can't escape, though, it's been my experience, it's the work. No matter what route you take, you will not be able to escape the work. You will not be able to escape the long hours. You will not be able to escape the, the, the commitment. And it doesn't matter what you're doing. There will be a, 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 a place where you're going to have to commit heavily in order to get results. And I just wanted to touch on that because, you know, I, I get asked many times, like, how much do you paint? How much do you do? Uh, again, it's not enough. It's not enough. Whatever I'm doing, I know in my heart that it's not enough. Uh, I feel like when, who said this? I think it was Michael Jordan when he was asked something similar about his practice. And he said that he, he was his, uh, um, something about him having uh, his uh, expectations, right? He didn't allow anyone to push him. He, he had this huge work ethic and his expectations were, were far higher of it to himself, right, than anyone else could impose on him. And I think that that is missing in art nowadays. And certainly not with the, with the big names because uh, they're doing something a lot. I don't know what it is. Whether they're doing mural work, you know, they're doing uh, big murals. Whether they're 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 doing um, presentations for, for for businesses. I know some corporate artists who do some really great stuff. They're doing that a lot. Whatever they're doing, they're doing something um, where they're putting a, a tremendous amount of energy. You know? And uh, sorry about my phone, guys. <laughs> it keeps going up. They're doing something a lot, and and we have to we have to look into that, you know. I think as as artists we we uh, we easily get distracted only with the 
we can easily get distracted with the idea of of um, the inspiration and that certainly has a, a place in there inspiration does have a place in there but it's not the only thing that's right that's my wife right there <laughs> she's doing some uh, some, some framing and she just said you have to train your mind to see inspiration everywhere. That's exactly right. Um, seeing, training your mind to, 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 to be able to, wherever you are, doesn't matter. You, you are, you are, you're receiving inspiration. It doesn't matter where you're in your kitchen or you're in, in I don't know, uh, the this, this in, 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 in France or, or, or you are in, uh, in, the desert, like where I'm at in Arizona, it doesn't matter where you are. You have to, you have to, you have to, you must. Uh, I don't know any artist who, who, uh, who has done something, anything, any, any work of art significantly, that they don't um, practice tremendously. Like portrait painters, uh, the good ones, the very good ones, they're always sketching, you know. You know, it, it baffles me because I had this portrait painter tell me once, "You paint so much," and I laughed, and I and because I knew I knew how much he worked on his sketches, on his on his uh, daily drawings, right? And I laughed, and, and I told him, I, "I use paint. Well, you know, you use charcoal, but you you sketch so much. Don't forget that, you know." And he started laughing. He's like, "Yeah, you're right," <laughs> because no matter where you go, you're not going to escape that. You know, no matter where you. Where you incline, uh, your inclination is. You're not going to escape the 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 the, the work. It's just not going to happen, you know. So, guys, I will be finishing this painting and keep you guys posted. Um, just wanted to show you a little bit and, and give you a little bit of my of my daily spiel to keep you motivated, to keep your reminder, to remind you know, to remind you to. Uh, to to do this this game is about doing as Picasso said you know it's 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 action this game is about doing uh, for the longest time I played this game or oh, uh, uh, from a from a from a thinking conceptualizing point of view it didn't get me anything it didn't get me it didn't make me a better artist it didn't get me any results in terms of 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 uh, selling my work. It didn't do anything for me other than made me frustrated because this game, as any other game, it's only it, later on you start learning different stuff. But 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 it's irrelevant if the action is not there first. So so no matter how much you know, how much information you got, it's it's going to always be irrelevant if the action is not there. So it's all about first, it's all about action. As Picasso said, you know, action is the main key. So, I'll leave you guys with that. The name is Jose Trujillo. And I will be showing you guys how I finished this painting. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, Sharon. I'm going to be posting this finished painting. And thank you guys so much. Let me, let me get close to it so that way you guys can see it. Look, I got right there. Focus. We got to focus, okay? And then next to it, take more risks. This is the stuff that I, this is in my, this is on my easel. I, rem, I remind myself every day. These are the first things that I read. You got to focus and you got to take risks. Okay? Here we go. I'm going to be showing you guys how I finished this little painting. And this, this is sort of like a, a dancer, a ballerina, but it's not. In, in Mexico, they are called China Poblanas. They, they, it's, it's a type of, 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 of dress, of, uh, very traditional stuff so I just wanted to show you this very quick thank you guys so much and I will be talking to you soon bye bye